Sir John Key says he views his knighthood as recognition of the sacrifices his wife and family made while he was Prime Minister. He received the honour for his services to the state during an investiture ceremony in Auckland this morning. Anusha Bradley was there. Sir John. <laughs> With a wide grin, Sir John knelt before the Governor-General, Dame Patsy Reddy, who touched each of his shoulders with a sword before pinning his decoration on him. His wife, Brona, and son, Max, other family members, and the Prime Minister, Bill English, watched as the former Prime Minister officially became Sir John. Speaking to reporters afterwards, he said it was a special moment. For the family, it's a really, really special day. I think it's a um, lovely thing that um, I see as recognition for Broner and, and uh, for the kids and the sacrifices that they made, but also for so many people that helped me. He says he's most proud of leading New Zealand through the global economic crisis. Only because it touches um, the lives of every New Zealander. For me, that was a really important time. But there were so many things, the Christchurch earthquakes, the Kaikoura earthquakes recently, obviously the tragedy of Pike River. There have been so many things that um, I look back on which were tough times for New Zealand, but um, I hope in some small part I could provide some leadership to help people through those crises. Sir John says it's a time for reflection on his career and he's humbled by the long list of achievements of the 12 other New Zealanders who were also recognised today. The truth is when you hear the citations for so many other people, you really sit back and, and marvel at what they've done. And as someone that chaired that committee for eight years, you know, over the, over the years I read a huge number of, of applications, some that were successful, some that weren't. But you just know that in every corner of New Zealand there's people that are doing magnificent things. One of those was Black Grace founder Neil Iremia, who was made an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit for his services to dance. It feels uh, strange, actually. I, I, I didn't think I'd feel this emotional about it, but um, yeah, I, I was actually uh, um, supposed to attend last year's investiture, but I, um, I, I couldn't get there in the end and, and joined on to this group this year. So I've had a, a little while to think about it, but it's still, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's very moving. My parents are here, and so I'm really um, excited for them. The artist, Fiona Pardington, who was made a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for her services to photography, says the experience was surreal. It was a blur when I got up there. Uh, and then Patsy said, oh, I've got two of your photographs. And I'm going, oh my God. <laughs> so what does your award mean for you? It's true that the greatest uh, thing that you can do in life is serve others. In my life, I've managed to connect with people through my art and helped people, uh, you know, feel, learn their own strength, uh, find their own the things that they loved. In another ceremony held this afternoon, Dame Julie Christie was officially made a Dame Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Fifty more extraordinary New Zealanders will receive their honours over the next two days. Mōte hōtaka o te ahi ahi. For Anusha Bradley, Aho.